The 2018 double crop soybean harvest is well underway in western Kentucky, and Big Tractor Power is out in the field with four big Class 8 John Deere combines. It's always exciting to see a big group of machines like this working on a farm. At the beginning of this video, you had a preview of the four combines rolling down the road, and we're going to spend time in the field watching the combines harvest the soybeans all the way to the end when they pack up and move down the road. We'll spend some time up in the cab of one of these new 2018 John Deere S780 combines and see the operator's perspective of running a 40 foot wide draper head and take a look at some of the self-automated technology that runs these combines. I hope that you'll enjoy hearing and seeing them at work and now we'll head out to the field and talk a little bit about what double crop soybeans are. Double crop soybeans are soybeans that are planted directly behind winter wheat. Here in western Kentucky, wheat is harvested in late May and early June. We can see one of the farms, John Deere S780 combines, harvesting the winter wheat crop back this summer. As the combine harvests the wheat, just a few passes behind it are the farms, tractors, and soybean planters. This farm utilizes a pair of John Deere 9370R tractors rated at 370 horsepower. They're pulling 60 foot wide John Deere DB60 planters. The planters are equipped with 47 rows on them, planting soybeans spaced at 15 inches apart. The planters no-till the soybeans directly into the wheat stubble. That means there isn't any tillage necessary. The soybeans are planted directly into the soil and then grow up through the wheat stubble over the summer using the stubble and the straw spread by the combine to preserve moisture in the summer heat and grow into a healthy crop. Here we can see those double crop soybeans emerging up through the wheat straw. They will grow all the way through the summer and then harvest begins in mid-October and runs through the month of November. Let's head back to the field and climb up in the cab of one of the John Deere S780 combines harvesting the double crop soybeans so that we can get the operator's perspective of running one of these large class 8 combines. Doing well. Looks like a good bean crop. Oh, an excellent bean crop. As we get underway, we can look out the front window at the 40 foot wide John Deere 640 FD draper head. This is the header that's cutting the soybeans using sickles to slice through the bean stems and rubber belts to collect the crop and pull it into the combine where a rotor separates the grain from the plant material. This combine is a class eight machine and combine classification is set by the horsepower rating of the combine. John Deere produces class six through class nine combines that range from 333 horsepower up to 543 horsepower. This is the second largest combine John Deere makes. It's powered by a John Deere 13.5 liter engine rated at 473 horsepower. It has a 400 bushel grain bin and an unloading auger that is 28 and a half feet long and it can unload grain at 3.8 bushels per second. The big change on the John Deere S700 combines for 2018 over the previous S600 combines manufactured from 2012 through 2017 is self-automation and the control system. It has a similar controller to the John Deere 8R and 9R tractors and it has self-automation to adjust to crop conditions and the operator can use a camera system to see the crop material and grain moving through the combine. So let's take a look at that and talk to the operator about these control systems. Let me get it on the 
bigger one here. Oh. So that's the tailings that, camera that, there. That's the tailings camera right okay. there. And then you can do the grain and camera. Then, and then I can just click on that one right there and it'll change okay. over. That's, that's uh, the grain. That's pretty neat how these combines can let you look right in there I, I, and self-correct. Yes. Uh, see, I can turn that on right there. See, there's that tell me that's a, a broken kernel there. Okay. Uh, so overall, looking like it's doing exactly it, what it's, it's supposed it's, to do. It's doing a good job. I, I'm really impressed uh, with them. So does this help you kind of line it up with the other combines where to make that next pass, or? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just count my passes over, and then that, uh, get them lined up. Well, this one's not, but I'm just gonna go around. But it communicates, like, you, it shows where everybody's going yes. as far as combine to combine. Yeah, uh-huh. I've just got, I've got this one set up where I can see the other combines, what their yield is, is doing too, instead of it just painting a, 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 a blue color, I, uh, I can tell what their yield is doing. That's really neat. This is one of the, I've been doing this for a long time and this is probably, in fact I know it is, best double crop beans I've ever cut. That's good to hear. So how are they, how are they yielding this year? Well everything we've cut so far has been right around at 55, 57 bushels. That's fantastic. The combines have completed one part of the farm and now are moving across the stream to the next field on this farm as they continue to harvest soybeans. I'm going to climb out of the cab so that you can see the other three machines cross this creek and head out to work in the next section of the field.
combines have moved into a 60 acre field and here we'll be able to hear and see the machines working together along with the tractor and grain cart. These combines belong to the farm. This is not a custom crew. They have a lot of acres to harvest on this farm throughout the year, including these double crop soybeans, winter wheat, and corn. As the combines cut their way back across the field, see if you can spot the winter wheat stubble just below the soybeans as we get a close-up of the 40-foot wide John Deere 640 FD header cutting through the crop. in the cab of the farm's John Deere 9220 four-wheel drive. John Deere manufactured this tractor from 2002 through 2007 and it's rated at 325 horsepower. This farm uses their 9220 to pull a Kinsey 1100 grain cart. The cart is capable of holding just over 1,000 bushels of soybeans. The tractor and cart are keeping up with the four combines. Double crop soybeans typically yield between 40 and 50 bushels per acre, and it doesn't really pile up the grain the way corn and wheat does. Corn in this area will normally yield over 200 bushels an acre, and winter wheat between 90 and 100 bushels an acre. So the soybeans do not require as much grain cart activity as the other crops. It also might seem a little different to see a 10 plus year old tractor out in the field with brand new 2018 combines. The reason the farm has this 9220 on grain cart duty is that they want to keep the hours off their more advanced tractors like the 2018 John Deere 9370R tractors that we saw planting soybeans earlier in this video. Those tractors are used to plant corn, soybeans, and winter wheat because they have a lot of advanced GPS technology and other features. They're great for planting. When it comes to pulling a grain cart, you just need raw horsepower to move the weight of the cart and the crop around the field, and the 9220 is a perfect fit for that job. You have to pass code for you can head out to. Oh.
The soybean field is completely harvested, and we're going to stay in the cab of the John Deere 9220 four-wheel drive tractor and follow the four combines out of the field. We've got to cross back over that creek. The combines are going to head out and begin to detach their headers to get ready to move down the road, and we're going to stick with the John Deere 9220 to see it unload the Kinsey 1100 grain cart. The Kinsey 1100 cart can unload 700 bushels of grain per minute. We'll see it fill up the trucks and then we'll watch all the machinery prepare to leave the field. Here we can see the S780 combines detaching from the 40 foot wide 640 FD draper heads. They'll place them on these header wagons and then the wagons will be hooked on the back of the combines to head down the road to the next field.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending time on this Western Kentucky farm, seeing and hearing how these big Class 8 John Deere S780 combines work, and learning about this farming operation overall. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you're already a subscriber, thank you, and make sure to check the Big Tractor Power YouTube homepage often, as new videos are posted every two to three days. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please post them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming to the Big Tractor Power YouTube channel next, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.